What's up, E Church family? My name is Pastor Green, and you are watching Potter's House Insider. I'm preparing to go to the Hamptons Ministerial Conference where thousands and thousands of pastors are coming from all over the country, perhaps all over the world, for us to brainstorm together. The Bible said that iron sharpeneth iron. I want you to be praying that the move of God would be intense and strong and that all of the pastors would leave inspired to maximize the season of life in which we are in right now. My husband and I are excited about this opportunity to welcome our new members to the Potter's House. This is Pastor Crumpton and my husband, Mr. Crumpton. And we are excited because this gives them an opportunity to have an intimate setting with our bishop, to get to talk to him for a moment, to get them to get knitted with this family, get close to this family, and we are excited about it. Hopefully they leave here feeling different than when they walked in, or feeling better, feeling closer, and feeling more knitted. That's our hope, and that's our joy. Uh, God called me last night to drive down here and I drove nine hours and made it to the service and uh, I'm happy to be here. been part of the Potter's House online for years now and uh, look forward to even more. I'm from Africa. So I, all the time I, I used to watch uh, like this church from online. It was really, really amazing. So I dream being here now I'm here and I'm blessed to have to be a part of this church. Being new members it's it's uh, it's exciting. It's a uh, very difficult where we come from. We're from Tennessee, so we just moved here. I guess I'm expecting God to really open up my heart and mind with the teachings that uh T D Jakes I've always listened to. And so I'm expecting God to move in my life through the principles that he teach and he's very, uh, he educates very well and so I just want to take those principles and use them in our personal life so that we can grow and become better people. We do, we do this because we want to have just a moment of intimacy with you and to tell you how much we appreciate you and how we feel that you're an integral part of this ministry. Sometimes when you're doing a church this size, you feel like, oh, I'm not needed, they don't need me, they got it all together. That's not true. We, we need you. If you're like me, you felt the ground shake this week as we heard the news of the passing of Dr. Maya Angelou. She is in a class all by herself, defies description. Surely her legacy will go on and on as she has inspired generations and generations of not only women, but men to come around the world. And my prayers go out to the family and to all of us who share in the sorrow. Dr. Maya, class all by herself. <laughs>